Hello my soccer universe, now to part three of this season's Premier League jersey review and this is the second take of the first take. I, fortunately I realized it very early in that I didn't record. Um, this time I decided to not go with the big boy, I decided to go with Crystal Palace which will also be the first team that we're looking at. Again one of those jerseys, I never thought I will have a Crystal Palace shirt, then I saw it very cheap on sale about a year, year ago on classic full football shirts and I took it and I actually I love it. Which is also something that I almost can say for the current home look. Now we have Puma and it's very interesting. The whole set for Crystal Palace, I have to say, I really like because there's a common theme going through the entire set um, and it looks, it gives a strong overall look. What we have here is the broad red and blue stripes that they, that they will come, come, come to expect are uh, now more symmetric than this version here, um, which I like. And then uh, the bars, there's kind of this arrow pointing up and then the shoulders are all blue. Maybe it's a little bit too much blue, but I also think if the arrow would go up a, li a little bit higher, it would meet too much with the point of the color, which then kind of would make look awkward too. So, you know, what gives in, in a way. I have to say overall I really like this look. I even find the sponsor not intrusive and uh, you know you cannot mess with this col 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 color scheme. I'm not sure if Barcelona will play in that that I would like it all the much but I still could get on board with it I think uh, for, for a change. Uh, by the way if you haven't seen look uh, leaked 21-22 Bar Bar Barcelona jersey. Surefire one star jersey right away. This one though no. Uh, this one I really like. I really like that look um, and I'm gonna give this eight stars. It's strong. It's strong. It looks good. It's not perfect but it looks good. I think that the away jersey even looks better because it, it looks like Willem Dway. Uh, although the, you would expect much uh, thin, thinner stripes there. But I really love that you take the same idea. You keep the red center stripe and make the outside uh, blue. So you keep the club's colors. Um, which is always something, I mean, uh, red and blue very well complement each other with white, perfect. This is a really nice jersey. Maybe the sponsor, I understand you, basically you have no other choice to make it yellow because otherwise it gets somehow lost. Although as we see now, uh, uh, these days, the letters get just outlined, which makes it also uh, palatable and could have been, have been used here, let's say with a white, but I understand the yellow, is all right and maybe that's what it keeps it from getting even a higher grade uh, but I still keep this as eight stars looks really nice and then what can I say the third jersey same thing just swap out uh, white for black and there you have it another really strong look uh, maybe in my scale it's probably between the home and the away jersey because it has the nice color effect in there uh, it is dark I like what Crystal Palace did this season. Eight stars, consistent, strong look. I think uh, picking a favorite, I probably the white white one would, would be my favorite because I like how the colors drive, but even the home jersey and this third jersey look really nice. Uh, probably one of the best kits in the Premier League, this uh, set of kits in the Premier League this season because it's somehow innovative. However, it doesn't stray too far away from what you would, would, would expect for a season totally fine with that one. Not something that I can really say with the Manchester United, uh, at least home kit. Uh, like with Arsenal, I have to say, uh, if you look at the top, this looks like a United kit. You know, you have the red, you have the white strolls, you have much more than last season where we had too much black in there. So I really like that. Like with Arsenal, Adidas is trying to come up with a fake safe uh, jersey. So we have another crazy pattern in all these specs on there. Uh, the yellow and black, you know, adding club colors in there. All fine and good. However, you already choose a red that is a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit too light to start with. But then with the yellow, if you look this in match, and the first time I saw this was uh, when they played Lusk at home, uh, it just washes out all the red. It looks faded. It doesn't look... It's not a strong look. I think it would look stronger that instead of the yellow, you would take a different shade of red, shade of red, not shade, shade of red. 
I think that would make it look much, much better than what we have here. Um, I don't mind the specs per se, but I think, you know, you always have to judge a jersey also from watching from a distance. Um, something gets lost in there. Uh, the vibrancy of the shirt is getting lost, although vibrancy for most of the United uh, is not a big uh, st statement there. Eh, we'll get to the third jersey. I know everyone's waiting for that one. Uh, so yeah, the yellow fits with the crest, I understand why it's there. Uh, also with the sponsor, although I really wish the sponsor was a little bit more shirt friendly. It's not a wonderful look, uh, I have to say. It's just down the middle. I give it five stars. The away jersey are already ranted when they wore it the first time against Sevilla. Where I still don't get Why can't you wear an uh, all red combination or whatever? Why do you have to put this on? First of all, what's the color? Is it green? Is it brown? It's somewhere in between. Is it khaki? Then the pattern. Uh, are you going in the jungle to or, or uh, for a mud bath or whatever? Hmm. And then you, you even put the full color sponsor on there. Uh, no. I, you know, I the first time I've, I was really upset is when um, uh, Real Madrid show showed up in four of our screen at Man United for a champ, Champions League match. And now Man United is doing the same thing. Ich, 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 ich. This is a swamp look. I think this is the best way to call this swamp look. Uh, I don't like it. It lacks any vibrancy. I know there have been a lot of black jerseys. Yes, I would like to see a white one for a change or, you know, a blue one. Uh, but, you know, another dark jersey. Mm, no. I, I, just the color bugs me so bugs me so much, and I'm gonna give this uh, yeah. Let's go three stars, and now the big one. The jersey that everyone is talk, talking about. What were they thinking? Many say. I have to say, the first time I saw it, I, saw, I also thought, hmm. But the more I look at it, I have to say, this black and white United away jersey is something completely different. But everything that I said is bad for the first two jerseys. This one is striking, vibrant, everything you want to have. And it's a little bit out, out of the box. I a little bit, I have to say, I regret that they're not using the same colored pants with it because that would complete just a perfect look. I know this is not a soccer jersey. This is straight for the fashion market. But I have to say black and white, I mean, I'm a Lusk fan. Black and white is all my colors. And then with red in there, great. There is something I absolutely adore about this jersey. I adore that they went for a third jersey. You can go with something different. Black and white are also club's colors. And then you have the red in there. Even the monochromatic red white crest fits perfect. The only thing that is horrible is the sponsor. That sponsor should be unicolored. Be it red, be it white, be it black. Uh, the sponsor, forget about it. But everything else on this jersey, I know you won't. I like it. I really, I really, really like it. It, ha it gives me some zebra African vibes. And you know how I like my African teams. Maybe the one thing, point of contention is the plane back. Come on. Come on. You could have go all out. But again, you see the Adidas template with the shoulders and so on. This jersey, I'm going to tell you, is going to sell like crazy. I'm not sure if it will end up in my collection here, but this jersey is going to sell like crazy. There is something definite about it. It is so daring that I cannot give it a bad grade because it is so out of the box. Uh, I actually like this one. I really, really like, like this one. Now I have to work on my credibility. Uh, I'm really thinking high here. I think the sponsor will drop. I'm going to give this eight stars. This is just something wonderfully different i want to see you know uh you especially said you stay within the club's color scheme you co come something completely daring for th if this was the home home jersey in the red and black no forget about it but for a third jersey as an alternate alternate also it actually provides contrast to uh, all the other jerseys that we, that we have brilliant absolutely brilliant get a better spawn spawns on there and i would probably have have given him nine or, or, or whatever I really like like this. And West Brom fans, I will not like your jerseys all that much. I can tell you that off the get-go right now. We'll get to West Brom a little bit later. Uh, Southampton. 
It's not the Southampton look, but I thought for the first time Under Armour is producing a decent looking jersey. We can discuss the collar. The collar is, has clear Nike uh, and clear Nike heritage there. Uh, outlining a little bit more. I like the scarf on the back in there, although I have to say the Southampton crest is for me one of the most, I would say, naive looking crest of David. Uh, you know, it's just so little litter with the soccer ball, with the scarf and then the halo on there. I know it's not a Southampton look, but a sashed look looks strong and uh, I hear that Southampton has been using in the beginning sashes, so there's a uh, Lynn Lynch there. Uh, what do I hate most about this jersey? For once, not the overall look, no. What I hate most is the sponsor. The sponsor is an atrocity and from what, what I hear, there's maybe even chances that they, they get a different sponsor. Sponsorless, this would look great, to, to, to be honest. You know, again, too many Chinese characters. The LD by itself, fine. You can even write L, Alice Bosch, but get all the rid of this Chinese stuff. It's Chinese lettering, it would look great as, as the name said, but as a sponsor, just let it stand by itself, maybe. I think that I could, could leave it, but with uh, Latin letters and Chinese letters, it just gets too clustered. Uh, cluttered, not clustered. <sighs> My English. Uh, it's not your traditional look, but I really like it. It's a strong look. I like the sleeve cuffs. There's everything. There uh, ticks the boxes. I'm gonna give this eight stars. Uh, the away jersey, hmm, for my promise, you know, I love my dark blue jerseys. And here's everything right. I would not have put the royal blue in there. And I'm not sure why Southampton is using this color. I think a black jersey would have made more sense there. But you know, maybe I missed something from the, miss, uh, from the history. I'm not an expert there. Um, but Again, the sponsor and so on, it, it's all right. You see right the full color of the Virgin Ella. It, uh, it, it's jarring in, 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 in a way. And I cannot believe I'm gonna give this only four stars for a dark blue jersey. You usually, if you issue a dark blue jersey, I'm usually already on board, especially if it's navy like this one. But no, nah, doesn't work. I have the third jersey, at, at least I presume this is a third, third jersey. It's probably the best one of all, all of this. The sash goes now the other direction. Um, maybe the one thing is the color. Why is it black on the front and then red? But you know, it looks better than on the home, home, home jersey. And that suddenly sponsor is in gold. Uh, what this does, it actually doesn't, on the white jersey with the, with the gold, it kind of uh, disappears a little. It doesn't look as in your face. It's kind of subdued and I actually like that. I actually like that. Uh, so despite the bad sponsor, you know, even the sleeve sponsor fits well. I'm, I'm willing to give this also, uh, no, I, I, I want to give this nine, nine stars. This is finally Under Armour jerseys that, that, that I like. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I know Ralph Hasenhüttl is probably the one reason why. Maybe one of these could end up in my collection. Surely not Spurs. I actually would like to have another Spurs kit, like an hour or sense of whatever. I just think it's a big team. But this Spurs jersey, what was Nike thinking? And like with the Arsenal jersey, front and back, completely different. First of all, this is an American football look. That's already something that I don't quite understand. Why do why 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 do we need then this pattern? You know, I love it on my Mali jersey, on the Spurs jersey. I really like the pure white navy look. Then you have the red sponsor and then the yellow here. <laughs> something gotta give. Something gotta give. Why can AIA not issue a navy sponsor? Then this shirt jersey will hold all of it. The, the sponsor looks jarring and doesn't fit with the rest of the shirt. The pattern. Maybe, okay, sometimes could be. No, it's not okay here. It's absolutely no, no, not okay. And then the weird color, um, do a little bit more with the yellow something somewhere else. And then, especially when you go on the back, again, with vividly pull this uh, backside, I hate. And then suddenly we have shoulder yokes here. Uh, and it looks especially stupid when looked from the side. Uh, then the other Nike feature that, that, that we haven't seen, but this offset uh, side stripes don't like them either at least there's a little bit of yellow there no this my friends is a two-star jersey 
it just doesn't look good and it's really hard to mess up a Spurs kit. Although Puma has, Puma have done the job. Puma have done the job. It's not a great job. Two stars. Um, the away kit, uh, green with pink and some fluorescent yellowish thing. Or is it black? I don't know. What does it have to do with Spurs? Yes, it's a fashion jersey. I give it, it's just, it's a, it's a clean look overall. <laughs> Four stars, I'm sorry. The best looking one is this proposed third kit. I really like, I mean, the Santa look, we can discuss, but CAIA can be navy. It can be navy. I actually like the gradient on there, it's subtle. Uh, I think yellow, as I said, would look perfectly in a way color for Spurs. Uh, this is a clean look. I actually really like this one. Eight stars. And then there's a proposed third kit, which is the same, this a uh, fourth kit. The same sign, but the gray gradient. And with gray, you, you lose me a little bit there. This is more middle, middle of the park. I am not sure if this will get issued, and I'm not sure if this is a, le a legitimate leak here. Uh, but yeah. What can I say? I'm gonna give this, yeah, also four stars. It kind of leaves, leaves me cold. The yellow and the blue, that looks great. And now we come to West Brom. And the barcode kit. This has a clear inspiration from a kit, I think when West Brom got promoted in the 90s. So Puma, uh, bravo for throwing it back. The striping pattern though is a little bit too much for me. Uh, I think on the home shirt it probably looks in a way still, no nah, it doesn't look all right, but I think the colors at least look all right to me. Um, I'm all right, the, you know, the bold stripes where the lower logs are, are contained, I think that makes sense, but everything, I think next to the crest, the, the thicker and the thinner, I think if that would have been a little bit more aligned uh, in with the other two on the other side, I think this actually could be a strong look, but this is just getting too much. Um, I know fans will love this one because it is a throwback jersey, but from just, I even think as a sponsor, fit, it's about as beautiful as it can get. But the striping is just throwing me completely off. I, it, it's not aesthetic in, in a way. The Manchester United, it was wild. It, there was something, but this is this is just barcode aesthetic. And for that reason, <laughs> four stars. The away kit in green and uh, yellow, same thing. Kudos to the sponsor for feeding it right in there. I'm gonna give it the same grade, also four stars. And the third, third kit, yeah, instead of green, we have red, again. Overall, strong look. This could be a last kit, by the by, by, by the way, which, which we'll see soonish. But yeah, <laughs> I stick with the four stars. At least it is as Crystal Palace unified, but it's not an uh, endearing great jersey. Oh, a lot of controversial grades in this one, don't you think? I want to hear your opinion. This is all my opinion. I'm not an authority. I'm not saying this is the ultimate. This is my personal opinion. Just want to state that. You're entitled to yours. Drop it below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a wonderful day. Bye!